How's it going, everybody? On my way to go to a store that I haven't been in in probably a couple of years. A store by the name of Costco. Let's go check it out. See you at the store. Park out here because everything else is tightening. Welcome to Costco, everyone. It's been a while since I've been in this store. Take a quick look around. Have the drones here. Hmm. In the comments right now, how could a prepper use a drone? What's this here? Some little baby bar. Well, looky here. This could be nice. This could be fun. This could be useful. Three ninety nine ninety nine. Have your life vest right here for kids, I guess. Maybe adults. All right, here go the adults over here. Not bad. I always point out coffee. Because I really do believe that coffee can be used as a bartering item. You wouldn't believe how many people in this country, in this world, are addicted to the good old cup of joe. Storage containers here. Fresh produce keeper set. So yeah. Got your fresh produce. Put it in there. I'm assuming it may have the same effect as those trays in the bottom of your refrigerator. Could be better. Look like they're sealed tightly. So maybe they'll work better. Snap away. Snap where? They even have a gun safe in here. Sanctuary. Didn't look too bad. Nice compartments here. Didn't look too bad. The price is five forty nine ninety nine. Love these shop towels. Scott shop towels. I remember coming up as a kid, my dad actually actually used to use these blue shop towels and he was a uh, auto mechanic. And ever since then, I've I really liked them. They they they, they work very well. Just in case you all have any issues with your uh, battery jump starter here, you can always use one of those. Get one of those just in case. Duracell high power inverter here. $69.97. Now for storage, food storage. Have some shelving up here. This one looks reason reasonable. I actually have one like this. Actually a couple like these already. Now this is your heavy duty shelving over here. Can hold a lot more weight. I probably prefer the industrial rack here over the other ones. 
course they cost a little more but fresh fruit heavy bananas watermelon in the background there we go I guess you call those with personal watermelons here go some bigger ones here $7.99 seedless watermelons I don't like doing seedless I was told not to trust seedless now we get to the meat section all that uh, it's not too bad I mean I'm not the meat expert but it look like there's not a lot of lean on that seafood area you fish here trout I don't know, even, even, it looks it looks reasonably fresh even though it's in the package here got your tilapia I'm not for sure what the best fish is to eat Ooh. brisket now we're talking 7640 I would say the price is a little high on that but hey if you need to get it get it ground bison ground beef would probably prefer the bison but I would say stock your freezer And let's be honest, you never know how this so-called trucker convoy is going to affect what's going to be in the stores. Because even if they even if it doesn't affect things that much, they're going to make it seem like it does or they're going to use it as an, as an excuse. Definitely got to respect the truck drivers though. They they put in they put in a lot of work vitamin water I have to get one of these a case of these uh, I love vitamin water it's not perfect but it's definitely a lot better than soda let's go to this aisle over here sugar 50 pound bags 27.79 Look like that could be stored somewhere. 25 pound bag. How often do you all shop in bulk? I mean, they have a lot of sugar here. What's these, like 10 pound bags? Yeah, 10 pound bags. 5.59. Organic cane sugar here. Then we have the organic uh, brown sugar down here. Our pure cane sugar, brown sugar. Now we get to our flour. Have the 25 pound bags. That's a lot of flour. How many pancakes can you make with that? And you have your baker's flour, 50 pound bag. Pancakes and biscuits. Rice, 25 pound bags, 849. Have your long grain. Yeah, this is parboiled rice, 15 pound bag. So they have plenty of rice here. Just depending on what you're looking for. I'm sure, I'm not the rice expert, but I'm sure some of these are easier to store than others. 
whether you're vacuum sealing them or, you know, with mylar bags, whatever. I'm sure some probably has a little bit longer shelf life. More pop, more flour. $13.99. Oh, it's two 10 pound bags for $13.99. The good old Vienna sausage. 18 cans. Might have to grab one of these. These are so light. Like, you could literally fit a few of these in a bug out bag and it won't add too much weight. You don't want to put a lot of them in there, though, but maybe a few. And what can we do without good old spam? See, this is the 2%, 25% less sodium. Sardines. Plenty of those. $9.99. Of course, chicken of the sea, tuna. Some of the prices I'm looking at are okay, but some things are a little more expensive. And I understand we're buying in bulk, but still, some of the prices I'm cool with, some of them I'm not. Okay, it's kind of windy out here. As you can see, the beer blowing. So I really don't need no one saying, hey, your beer's out of place. It's because the wind's blowing. Uh, I saw a few things that you can find in Costco. So your preppers out there, the big bags of rice, and flour, and sugar, definitely worth the canned goods. They have plenty of meat in there. I'm not too cool on the prices though. But yeah, do you have a Costco in your area? How often do you go there? Let me know in the comments. Is it one of your favorite stores? Or do you put them in the same category as that Walmart store or Target or whatever? Please give the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel. And as always, get ready, stay ready. God bless.